after the floods, you know, it was a, it's been a devastating time and terrible time for this area and, and many families and the staff here at our cars and specialists and everybody wanted to continue, wanted to have this event for the kids so that they can get back to something normal, a normalcy. They didn't have to think about the flood for a short amount of time. We did it. We did it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I am so glad that we are able to offer this to, to 350 students from East Kentucky. Uh, the majority of the kids here are from the counties that were affected in some way by the floods that happened in July. And so we wanted to make sure that we still gave them the opportunity to come out and take part in this hands-on learning experience. And this one, and then roll it in your bird seed, hang it up. We have kids today here from Breathitt County, Wolf County, Jackson County. I think Johnson and Floyd and Perry and some of those counties are coming tomorrow or the next couple of days. So we have, we'll have at the end of the week, probably have eight or, eight or 10 different counties that have kids that have, will have come through here in the center. These are bicycle helmets. Do you think we should wear bicycle hel helmets when we're riding a horse? We've got um, extension agents and staff and volunteers here who are leading the, the session for the kids. We wanted to make sure that they got a variety of, of um, educational sessions. So our sessions range from, from basic beekeeping to equine safety to, to the importance of earthworms. We have our intermediate fourth, fifth, and sixth grade here today, but at the same time, we've got high school up the road from us in our wood center, and they are learning uh, about forestry and, and wood education. They're called cheese blocks. It's kind of like miniature cutting boards. Just all kinds of a different variation of activities that the kids can come, get their hands on, get, out of that, get that out of classroom experience that we can provide them so well.